So hello, it's James from Feeding Electrical and on today's video we're going to be working in this kitchen. So, what we're going to do, there's some under cabinet lights going in here. There's four along here, so one, two, three, four. We're going to light under here, five and six. So they're going to be switched from this little few spur here. And then we've got some plinth lighting to put in. So all the doors are getting replaced, all the plinths are getting replaced. So when we come back again, there'll be 10 lights to bob in around here and they're going to work off this switch. And then later on, what we're going to do is fit an outside socket. And then we've got a little switch fuse spur to put in next to the socket on the outside. And that'll feed up like a little decorative up down light. So that's that job in Leeds. So, so this switch here, we're going to make that do the plinth lighting. So we're going to chase down here, chase behind the units, send the cable from here underneath and just leave that for later. Then this switch over here will do the six under cabinet lights around the room. So like I said, you've got one, two, three, four, five and six. So what we're going to do is run a cable from here to on top of this cupboard. So we're going to bring the cable up into the loft, along and down. And then we're going to run a cable from here, up, across and then down on top of this cupboard. So that's this job in a nutshell. So between me and Hayden over there, the legend apprentice, we'll, uh, we'll get this started then. So we've taken this one apart, and if you look, the earth just popped out. And some people just can't wire anything up. If that's part of the ring, you've got an open circuit to your earth, which isn't that good. Ah. Right, that's in now. <laughs> Look at you shaking your head. <laughs> it's like Mr. Tumble, isn't it? Right, so we've got this cable in now. So that's ready, just hanging out the bottom for the plinth line connection. So we'll just leave that down there. We won't cap it off, because what we're going to do is just coil it in the back of this switch here. So we just need to oh, let's get it on front facing mode. So what we're going to do is get this knockout here out and then we're going to put a grommet in there, get the cable in, coil him up, that's this job done. We can't use this cable because the down lights we use have got an earth and that's just a two core cable live in neutral so we can't use that. So what we have to do is take a one mil from there, chase up, get it up the back of the cupboard so it's on top, wire from here to this cupboard, here to this cupboard, all around through the loft. So that cable's in the back of there now so that's, that's sorted. So what we'll do is run a cable from here to here and here to here. So I don't know why we're starting from the middle, but we are. So we're just going to do a little chase down here to the top of the cupboard and then drill up into the loft on, on an angle and we'll get that cable in. Right then, so in the loft, Hayden is tapping below, and I'm just feeling where it's tapping. It's about here, so I know exactly where that cable is. So, although we'll try and get his hand in from here and try and grab it. Tap cables through now. Yeah, so let's get this up now then. I'm sure about to grab that above. So those cables are in now, so we've got this cable on top of them, we've got two of them, they're nice and standing proud. So it goes from this cupboard here, to that cupboard there, to this cupboard over there. And we've used the three car on earth just because we've run out of twin on earth, so this is what it is. This is how Hayden spends his uh, apprenticeship, flicking tape. We've got this cable in here, we've got the cables in up top there, we've got the cables in there. So we'll get his down light in there, get the cable up the back, and do his connection on top. And we'll get four down lights fitted along here and again the cables will fish up the back and the connection will be on top. Same again here then. Right, we'll just give it a quick sweep up, tidy up. Here has got the hoover in, like a legend. Anyway, we'll give it a quick hoover, then just a wipe down and then that's us done down here. Right then, so we've arrived at the job. 
so we'll just take you through it. So we've got a outside double socket to put on, and then there's going to be a little switch through spur next to it. And then the customer wants the outside light just come off that one. There's like a pull cord to replace and there's a light to fit at the front. So here's the socket for the living room. We're going to come out the back of here. So we're going to come out the back. We're going to have the double socket like that. And we're going to wire straight from that into a switch. So I'm going to flick this switch. There'll be a cable coming out the bottom of that, which will be mounted here. I'll flip up the wall and that'll go to a up-down light. So they'll basically have an up down light like that. So if you look there, that's their old light. I'm just going to swap that out for a brush chrome PIR light. So we'll get that fitted. Then in the bathroom above, we've just got a pull cord back box and pull cord to replace. So we've already offered up the light fitted onto the wall so the customer can see where it needs to go. Here's the customer with the uh, awesome cup. Look at that. Game Boy Advance cup, it's even got a biscuit holder. That's pretty sick, isn't it? <laughs> so we've just drilled through the wall using this big badass meter bit. So we've just drilled through the back of the socket. So what I'll do is get a little, little rubber grommet in there and that takes you through straight to outside. So what we'll do, we've also drilled the back out of the socket, so this can mount over that hole and we can get the cable into this socket. Alright then, so Hayden's second fix days, as you saw by the time lapse. So that cable comes in into the bottom of there. He's wired the cable coming through into feed, so live and neutral in the feed in, and then he's come out of that into here. So that's that permanently powered. And then the cable going to the light is on the load side of this fuse spur. So when you flick it on, this neon will light up and that light will light up. And it's gonna look pretty sick. So that's it, that's uh, that one done. So with these you just give it a little a little push and it just clicks in. Oh yeah. There we go, two happy customers. <laughs> so just moved on to swapping this over. So we've got a bit of charring on the old cable. So obviously it won't tight enough and it's breaker. You can see there it's starting to melt a bit, the actual cable. So we'll get this back box swapped out. So yeah, basically that, that lug's died. So I'm gonna swap this back box out, get a new switch on and back box tighten it properly so this melting has done occur and this job will be done. Right there sorted now, so give that a little pull, that's working and that's your bathroom light. Spot on. Right then, so this is the light we've got to swap over. It's not very well fixed as you can as you can see. In it. That's the light fitting off. Power's off, so we'll just chop that, wire that into his new fitting. We'll get this little screw out, give it a sweep. So that's looking great now. So we've got us up down light there to get a nice wash down here. I literally we just came up the path and it's got a little sensor there. Sure, let me. There you go. It's got a little sensor there which picks you up. Looks like that, doesn't it? Yeah, classic. Beautiful. So yeah, the customer's gonna have a have a look then. You wanna turn it on then? There you go. Okay that. Oh yeah. So there you go, that's that one. That's the best way of getting the up down light in without having to plaster on the inside. So if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we're next uploaded. As always, have a good one from me and I'll see you in the next one.